Hey there! Today I'm gonna to solve a puzzle designed by Yu Osaka, a famous puzzle designer who created such amazing puzzles as Puzzle 29, Puzzle 19, Wave 5, Wave 7 and others. The name of his new puzzle is Record 6. It has 6 parts and a frame and the goal of the puzzle is to put all parts into the frame. Once the puzzle is solved, it looks like a record. That's the name of the puzzle. If you like how the record 6 puzzle looks and you want to buy it, I will put a link in the video description where you can do that. And if you want to see my attempt to solve the puzzle, keep watching the video. So let's take a closer look at the record 6 puzzle designed by Yosaka. The puzzle comes in a minimalist design box with the number on top. The number always refers to the number of pieces in the puzzle. This one has four black parts and two yellow parts. The goal of the puzzle is to put all pieces into the frame. Game level is one out of five. It's not a difficult puzzle and the target time is around 10 minutes. So let's take a closer look at the parts. We have six of them, as I told you, two of them are yellow and each piece has a cutout and a protrusion. And I think that the, I saw a piece. Yeah, this, this piece has two protrusions and one cutout and this one has two cutouts and one protrusion. So we have to put all the parts in such a way that all the protrusions and the cutouts will match and then we will be able to solve the puzzle. But I can already see that that is not the solution since the last, the smallest piece doesn't fit. It does fit into the cutout but it doesn't fit into the inner cutout like so and I have to figure out another way to solve it but how to do that at the first glance it looked like a very easy puzzle to solve but now I see that it is a little bit more complicated than I expected what if I change places of some parts let's see this goes here and this does fit here oh no <laughs> I thought it will fit it, it's not enough just I don't know like a half of centimeter to fit the piece. What if I switch? No, that's definitely not gonna work. Okay, that means that I have to start from the very beginning and see what I can do. The first piece fits inside perfectly, but it has two positions, like so or like so. The next one, it goes here and again, I can put it in two different ways, but if I change the position of the first one, it doubles the number of combinations for the second piece. That means that if I put the third piece here, it will double the number of combinations of the second one. So there will be eight different possibilities to put the second piece inside. And for the third one, it will be even more. It will be 16, 32 for the next one. Uh, but the outer disc will have only two ways. Okay. So the, I can put this disc only like so or like so. The second one, again, I can put it in one, two combinations, even though it looks like they are just on the opposite sides, but they are a little bit shifted. So each time you flip the piece, the protrusion is in a different spot and it doubles the combination for the second disc and for the third, so it will be eight combinations for this disc and eight, eight combinations for this one. And I have no idea what these numbers give me, but I felt a little bit smart while I was saying, saying all these numbers. So let's see, I put it here. It, doesn't fit. If I put it here, it doesn't fit either. Okay. I guess I just have to try all possible combinations for the parts and see what will happen. Oh, that looks good. No, that doesn't look good. But that was very, very nice. Let's see if I change places of these parts. Uh, nope, not enough. Not enough, just a little bit. Okay. Did I try to change? <laughs> this is so difficult to track what I tried already and what I didn't try. Mm -hmm. 
Please? No, 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 it's not enough. Just a little bit. Whew, okay. My logic is illogical. I have to figure out something else how to solve the puzzle. I tried to flip this one. Uh, let's see. This goes here, this goes here, and I have two parts that don't really fit together. What if I try to flip this disc now? No, that doesn't look right. Let's hope this will help me. Oh, that looks very... Oh, done! Solved! Okay, it took me eight minutes to solve the puzzle. And now a couple of my thoughts after solving the puzzle. First of all, it's not a difficult one and there is a chance that you can solve it in like 10 or 15 seconds straight from the box. But if you didn't solve it at the first try, consider yourself lucky since now you have a chance to try to discover the logic behind the puzzle. I like that the first string, when you put it inside the tray, uh, has only two options how you can put it. But the next one has twice as much options, that means four. And the next one has twice as much options as the previous one, and so on. And when you put five discs inside, you think that the next one will have 64 options to put it inside, but no, the last ring has only two options again, and that really confuses you while solving the puzzle. And it is quite difficult to track which options you tried already and which you didn't try, and that makes it quite a challenge to figure out the correct assembling of the puzzle. Even though the difficulty level of this puzzle is only one out of five, I really enjoyed solving it, I like how it looks, and if you also like how the Record 6 puzzle looks and you want to buy it, link will be in the video description as always. And if you enjoyed watching my video, hit the like button, subscribe and see you in my next one.